Honolulu, London, Tokyo, Osaka, Beijing, Madrid. Here I am in the heart of Los Angeles, surrounded by hedonists, denebids, and ugly women wearing gloves. The city of make believe where dreams never sleep and fairy tales never end. The city where celebrities are demigods of basketball's religion. The city where you may find your calling, yet lose your soul. If you've not met Shy Town, you will. But now let me tell you about another member of our team. I met this man while I was a graduate school at UCLA. He was a student athlete, a physics major. He graduated second in his class. Fast forward to 2012, on weekends, he's still an athlete. During the day, he is a physics instructor at a private institution in Los Angeles. And when night falls, he dons a cape and becomes the one, the only, the international DJ of mystery, the thunder in your pulse, the wicked, wicked fire starter, floor shaker, club quaker, pipe piper of the night. I caught up with him at one of his Olympic qualifying trials where he shared a harrowing tale with me about how a gig he booked in London almost became a nightmare. So tell me about London, man. Oh, London? Oh, the, the DJ thing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that was tight. Okay. So, first of all, I, uh, the plane was 20 minutes late. I get to London, it's about 3... I don't know. 3... 3.50. I was supposed to land at 3.30. Okay. Then, I, I'm supposed to be at the club at 5 o'clock for sound check. And, uh, you know, I, I had planned it out, mapped it out, what, how I was going to get there and everything. I get to the customs line. The customs line is gigantic. I mean like 300 people, all coming at once. Huge line, and there's out of 25 boots open, only six that people walking there. So I'm thinking obviously they're gonna bring more people to like process the, the whole thing. No. They have six people processing 300 people, one by one. Taking their good time, laughing. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, I'm never gonna get to the club on time. So about an hour and 10 minutes later, I finally get through. Now it's like 5.30. The people at the club have no way of contacting me. They're probably, they're probably wondering what's happening with their DJ. They don't know what's the deal. So I'm like, okay, I, got, I can't get to take the subway there. It's too long. So I'm like, what's the next alternative? There's an express train that goes there in like 15 minutes. I take that, pay extra money, whatever. Get on the thing. I get to London, central London. It's like 6. 30. I find the club because I, I get there, it's like 6.35. The party starts at 7 p.m. So they, I get there, they look at me, they're like, we thought you weren't showing up. I'm like, nah, sorry, customs, whatever. So I get to the thing, I do the sound check. The sound system is horrible. Like, I'm like, there's just no way. Because they told me they were going to have this, that, that, they didn't have any of that stuff. So I'm like, how's this going to work? Party's starting in like 20 minutes. I'm like trying to figure it out. We plug an iPod just to have some background music when people come in the club because my system cannot work at this point. I figure something out, I plug it in, and then everything's working, and the owner comes down to me, he tells me, oh, by the way, you can't plug it in here, because these speakers are not the ones we want. I'm like, <laughs> so I have to unplug everything. I'll plug everything, I go where they want me to set up, but the mixer that they have is not working. So, I'm like, this is, I, don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. So they have a band that comes in, live band, the live band is playing for a little bit. Once they're done, I take their mixer, move it to my area, plug it in, it starts to work. Party starts, 9.30, start playing music, everybody's happy, everything's going good. I've got my headphones on, whatever, and after a while somebody comes to me and like, excuse me. I'm like, yeah. They're like, uh, there's no music in the club. I'm like, and there's no music. <laughs> <laughs> so only my headphones. I'm like, what's the deal? So then I talk to the owner, he's like, yeah, the speaker's blue. I'm like, but everybody's looking at me, because they're looking at the DJ, it's like, it's your fault. I'm like, what can I do? So for about five minutes, five, six minutes, there's music, but so low, because if you go loud, the speakers won't play it. So, I'm like, okay, what can I do? I'm like, this is not gonna be good, this is gonna be all about me. People are gonna say, DJ Narc sucks. So, I see the speakers that the live band was using, I go to them, and it's pretty much like those portable, portable, portable speakers, which are pretty loud. I try to move it, but it's, it's like trapped to the ground. I can't do it. Come back to the music, make a little mix, come back. I see this wire, I just grab it and just, Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, get to my mixer, plug it in, and it gets loud again. So it works, and even better than the previous speakers. So, we move the speakers next to my thing, and then the party is a success. Everybody's like having a good time, we'll go till about 1 a.m., whatever. The lady who, who booked me, she's like, I never had so many compliments for the DJ, like, you gotta come back. I'm like, well, I come back, but I can't come back till the summer, because, you know, I'm teaching, whatever. And uh, so she said, no problem, so she gives me dates. She's like, any of those dates you want to come, you tell me, I will book you for a bigger club with better speakers, but we want you back. I'm like, cool. And that was it. So <laughs> <laughs> it worked out somehow. <laughs> so yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm.